Hi guys, for this new unit, um, we're gonna spend some time talking about cells. And so one way I'd like to start the unit is by doing a project on cell architecture and organelles. Um, so the way that this will work is that there are several steps and it will start with you researching at least some of the organelles that are on this list, um, seeing what job they have inside the cell and then choosing one that you would like to do a little bit of some deeper research on and you should create a presentation that addresses these six different questions um, that are that are listed here and what i'd like for you to do is think about what you know about the organelle prior to doing any serious investigation so what is it that comes to your head when you think about that organelle and then the second question is um, in the presentation is to, to address the questions that you have about that organelle. Things like, how does it form? How do proteins get to it? What happens to it during cell division? Um, things like that. Then the third question will be more scientific research. So read review articles and primary literature articles online to summarize what scientists currently know about that organelle that you are um, doing research on. And then try to answer the questions that you've posed above in uh, number two. What things do you want to learn? Uh, did you learn in your research that you didn't know before? Um, and that will take you then to the fourth question, which is um, how does a dysfunctional form of the cell component relate to human disease? And um, the fifth question is what is still unknown about your cell part? And what questions are scientists still trying to answer? And the important part of that last question is, I think to help everyone realize that the organelles and the way the, work, the cell works is very complex. There's still a lot we don't know. Um, and that includes thing, the things that we'll learn um, about in this class. So to get the answers to these questions, at least three and four, um, what I'd like for you to do is use research databases such as PubMed, Google Scholar, Science Direct, and other ones like Web of Knowledge, etc. Um, I would say try at least first to look at review articles because they'll give you a good summary of the information that we currently know um, relating to your organelle. I would say use a variety of different terms when you're looking up the cell part. And I even, include, I even included a link to help you navigate PubMed in particular and how to access the articles that you'll um, come across while you're doing your, your research. Um, during your presentation, what I'd like for you to do is for you to record it similar to how I'm doing that right now. Um, so you can use Zoom or Screencastify or Loom or another screen recording app. Um, and um, I think Screencastify has a limit of five minutes. So for all presentations, I will say um, that everyone should record their presentation at a maximum of five minutes, no more than five minutes. Um, and you can use really any screen recording app that you'd like, um, but be sure that you try to make the slides informative, clean, creative, include diagrams and figures. And um, most importantly, what I'd like for you to do is make sure that you cite any content that you use um, as you uh, make your presentation. And um, next, what I want you to be what I want you to do is submit the full script of your presentation to my Malvern under the correct assignment and on the script include the full um, APA citation as you write the script and then include the full reference at the end of the script um, when you when you submit it to my Malvern. Um, and there's a place on uh, my Malvern for you to upload that full script. Um, and then before you finish your presentation, what I want you to do is write a discussion question for your peers and include that discussion question at the end of your presentation. So maybe on the last slide or the slide before your references. 
And this question should be related to your topic, but I do not want you to answer the question in your presentation because what I'd like is for you to, um, to eventually have other students uh, watch your video and then see the question and then discuss that question um, in the discussion board this week. So um, once you have the full video recorded and your script is finished and you upload that script to my Malvern, then what I'd like for you to do is embed your final video present presentation to the discussion to the discussion board on my Malvern. And um, if you follow the instructions here, I have a video on how to embed your final video presentation to the discussion board on my Malvern. And once everyone's discussion video, once everyone's um, video presentation is uploaded to the discussion board, then what I'd like for you to do is watch somebody else's discussion um, video and thoroughly respond to their um, discussion question and then respond to any comments that are on your own post. And what I have for you are some resources to get started. Um, I would say take a look at what, what is available. There are some um, good links uh, for you to use when you're getting started. And then uh, I also want to stress that I recommend looking over the grading rubric to see exactly what is expected um, for the presentation. Uh, so as always, if you have questions, please reach out to me and let me know. I'm here as a resource to help. Um, and one thing I want to add is that some students have struggled to answer this last que question um, here about what is still unknown about your cell part, what questions are scientists still trying to answer. Um, and it, some find that it's easy to answer that question, but if you are struggling to answer that question, please reach out. Um, I may be able to point you in the right direction. All right. Uh, well, that's all. Have a great day.